So PCOV IP is one of the biggest things that we've been doing in the desktop space, and I'm very happy to have this shipping later in the year. Uh, the, pro the feedback that we've gotten all along is I have workers that are far across the, the country, maybe they're um, offshore data centers that we've created or call centers, or I have people that are calling in from home, so make that experience as good as possible. Uh, what we've done is paired up with a company called Teradici, as we announced a while back, and uh, they've been around for about 2004 working on these devices and, and this type of uh, protocol work. And it's purpose-built for desktop virtualization, but it's also architected to really let you use these different amounts of bandwidth, and also let you have the option of using hardware accelerators. So I should be very clear, what we'll be shipping is a software-only protocol, you don't need any special hardware, but this has the option as you go forward of vendors creating devices that have these accelerators in them for truly the highest end users, uh, CAD and designers. So across the board, we think we're going to have a very nice network solution for all you want to do here. And it's actually, a, um, you'll be able to see some great sessions on this. It's a very cool approach, which is all about um, trade-offs between bandwidth and experience. So we do a, a progressive build of the, of the images, kind of like you'll see on HDTV, where depending on your bandwidth, it might be a little blurry at front, but the more you're looking at it, the more it's crystallizing and getting to the absolute lossless display in the end. Um, so a very interesting approach that we've taken here. And it is here in real. Uh, the performance is looking very good. A number of you are probably using this as our private beta, and we are going to be shipping this later this year. So um, I recommend you go to the session if you're interested in this. Uh, we're seeing some strong performance numbers, particularly around saving CPU utilization when we use this display protocol. This is a thin client. We're going to go, kind of go through that day in the life you were talking about. So I'm here on my work desktop. I've got uh, PowerPoint and Excel running. But to us, right, when you talk about PC over IP, PowerPoint and Excel are the baseline. When we're in a local area network uh, scenario, we want a PC-like experience. There shouldn't be a compromise there. So things like high-definition video without the use of hardware assist to be able to just stream HD video over the wire using the protocol and have it render host side, or doing things like 3D graphics, OpenGL, the graphics that power CAD CAM or your medical imaging, or in this case, Google Earth. Now, I actually live in Portland, so we're going to do a little uh, Google Earth flyby. We're going to fly from Portland back down to San Francisco here in Google Earth. You can see it being rendered there on the screen. And that's the OpenGL LAN experience with PC over IP. Cool. So and then I guess you work at home whenever you can as well, right? Yeah, so I think I'm just going to head back home. And I doubt you dress quite as nicely at home. I don't. When I'm at home, I like to wear my pajamas. <laughs> so, now that I'm at home working in my pajamas, and I'm going to move over here to my home laptop, or excuse me, a home desktop. This is my kid's PC. Sometimes I use it to access my session. That is an old school PC. I like that. Beige. Yeah, I, uh, if I had a raise, I could afford a new one. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and we're going to log in here. Click the login. Authenticating. And again, this is connecting back. You know, when I do, I actually do live in Portland. I spend quite a bit of time in Palo Alto, but when I work and do my day-to-day -day work from my home office, I actually connect back over the wide area network using PC over IP on an almost daily basis. So let's go ahead and minimize the Google Earth. Now, I'll admit, I don't often read all the emails I'm supposed to, but what I found out is that we got a new corporate logo this week, and I have to update my presentation. So I've got this here. We're going to move the logo up. Notice, this is that the experience of being able to just do the work. Oh, I don't want to turn this upside down. That would not be appropriate. <laughs> Branding would be all over me. So we're going to put this right here. And that's just updating that presentation. So another part of the VMware View journey is the introduction, as we uh, described uh, or announced uh, last year, uh, of the PC over IP protocol. This is a new thin client protocol that's available in both a software only as well as a hardware assisted form and we think will really be a state of the art protocol for uh, desktop virtualization on thin clients. Now to give you some idea of that, I've actually, uh, we're going to invite one of our customers to come up and talk about it. Uh, Chris Rector is from TELUS in Canada uh, and he's going to describe to us the interesting things that they are doing with you. Chris, welcome. Very glad to be here. Yeah, it's great to see you. So, uh, tell us what uh, tell us. Well, first of all, tell us about Telus. 
Well, yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to log into a virtual desktop and uh, we'll go through a small deck to talk about uh, TELUS and uh, about what we're doing with VMware View. Yeah, so TELUS is a uh, leading telecommunications company uh, within, uh, within Canada. We uh, focus very strongly on IP and uh, with the uh, internet data centers and uh, hosting capabilities. With a uh, strong strategic intent to unleash the power of the internet to deliver the best solutions to Canadians at home, in the workplace, and on the move. So you really are a forward-looking company in terms of how to use this technology to make things simpler and richer. Oh, absolutely. In the competitive market, uh, most definitely have to. So uh, for how we use VMware View today, um, we've uh, rapid deployment of over a thousand desktops uh, with a global reach. Uh, we have both the developer and contact centers um, that are currently uh, VMware View. Uh, one of the key components of it was application isolation so that where we can have customization of applications or differentiation of applications where we could not traditionally deploy them. Uh, one of the key components was centralization of corporate data um, and a global reach. Great. So the, the evolution of it in the next step uh, beyond just server virtualization, but the ability to scale to thousands of users at the desktop. Uh, and one of the big things that with Vancouver is the uh, traffic uh, we have uh, can have congestion uh, with big events occurring in Vancouver, um, where a, a traditional thick user, like a, a client or a carrying a laptop, may want to have portability and mobility. Um, so we needed a uh, mechanism to transfer from the thick world to the thin world. So you guys are using this internally and dog fruiting it and then hoping to roll this out as a service to your customers over time. Over time, uh, definitely the possibilities are there for the evolution towards that space. And at the end of the day, secure simplified desktop access. Right. And one thing I did want to remind you is that uh, this presentation is uh, all over soft PC over IP. Right, Chris, thanks a lot.